Well, welcome to See Here Love on our very special first time ever See Here Love Christmas musical special or extravaganza. For this Christmas, we decided to look back at the seasons and bring you some of our favorite musical sing along moments. So you don't want to hear me talk so much. I know you want to get right to the music as we celebrate this Christmas season. So let's start off in season two. When we were in Studio C, we were only just a web show. We didn't have great fancy mics and audio. And Cheryl Nemhard at that time co-host, Kimberly Mitchell co-host, friend Mark Masry and Kevin Pauls, both incredible artists, sang O Come O Come Emmanuel and O Holy Night a cappella. Oh yes, I sang a little bit too, but I kind of pretended I was singing and just let them make it happen. Let's listen to us sing these incredible favorite Christmas hymns. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lowly exile here until the Son of God Spring, come and cheer our spirits by thine advent here. Disperse the gloomy clouds of night, and death's dark shadows put to fly. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O stars are brightly shining it is the night of our dear Savior's birth long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth a thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees, oh he. was born, O oh, night divine, O oh, night, O oh, night divine, truly he taught us to love one another. His law is love, and his gospel is peace. Chains shall he break, for the slave is our brother, 
and in his name all oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy in grateful chorus raise we let all within us praise his holy name fall on your knees oh hear the angel voice Christ was born, O night divine, O night, O night divine, O night divine. There's something about a cappella uh, music. I think at that moment, that was a really holy and sweet moment for us. I mean, we didn't have huge audio. We didn't have a, a big production budget. That was just us singing. And it was one of the most amazing moments for me at that time. So, so thankful for Cheryl, Kim, Mark, and Kevin as they joined us. Speaking of great music and great friends, in season four, we actually went to Brooke Nichols, Juno nominated worship leader and her husband, Steve's home to record them singing and sharing reflections on two of my favorite songs, Christmas songs, Silent Night and Joy to the World. Here they are uh, with those songs. Hey, I'm Brooke Nichols, and this is my husband, Steve. Welcome to our home. We're going to share today on the word peace and what that looks like in this Advent season. You know, are you stressed out? Do you feel overwhelmed by the weight of the world, especially in this season? Isaiah 9 verse 6 says, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the authorities will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. You know, the word peace means it's this freedom from disturbance. Uh, it's, it's calm, it's, it's quiet, it's tranquil. I love the word shalom. It's the Hebrew word for peace. It's the longing of every human heart. The day that Jesus was born, God gave us peace. It's this supernatural, unending, perfect peace that only comes from the Father. And so in the midst of this Christmas season, which we know is overwhelming and very busy, we pray that you would find and experience the peace of Christ. Silent night, holy night. 
shepherds quake at the sight. Glory stream from heaven afar. Heavenly hosts sing alleluia. Christ the Savior. The Savior is born. Amen. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive. Christmas songs. Mm. Hey, I'm Brooke Nichols, and this is my husband, Steve, and today I'm just going to talk a little bit about what it looks like to find joy in this Christmas season, but not only in this Christmas season, in all areas of our life. Mm. Isaiah 29 reads, the meek shall increase their joy in the Lord. The humble will be filled with fresh joy from the Lord, mm. and the poor will rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. You know, the word joy, uh, it's this feeling of great pleasure. I think about what the word happiness means versus the word joy. And mm. happiness is just this like fleeting emotion. We all know emotions come and emotions go. I mean, I can testify to that. I know there was a time in my life where I was leaning so heavily on, the, on my own happiness. Uh, and I was looking for happiness to come from other people. And, you know, people just let you down. And... Uh, Nehemiah 8 reads, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And in that time of trying to um, uh, feel my own happiness in different circumstances and situations, I was depleted of all my strength because I wasn't operating under the joy of the Lord. Mm. Um, I just pray that uh, in this Christmas season, that with whatever you're walking through, whatever you're going through, that you would find joy. Uh, the, the, the day that Christ was born, God gifted us, gifted us joy. And it's inexpressible, it's, it's overwhelming, and it's genuine. And there's just nothing like the joy of the Lord. So I just pray that you would lean into that and you would experience the joy of the Lord this season and always. Mm. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare room in heaven and nature sing. In heaven and nature sing. to the world the Savior reigns let all their songs employ while fields and floods rocks, hills and plains repeat the sounding joy repeat the sounding joy Repeat, repeat the sounding joy. You 
you know, I love seeing Brooke and Steve sing together as a couple. It's so beautiful just to witness their connection and their love of Jesus. Well, speaking of a really great connection, it was amazing last Christmas in season five, we were invited to Juno nominated worship leader and very well known worship leader, Brian Dirksen's home in Abbotsford, BC to shoot some See Here Love shows and also for him to sing some of his uh, original and favorite Christmas songs. So here's Brian with his song, Come and Adore and Hallelujah, Emmanuel from his album, The Heart of Christmas. Come and adore Christ the Lord. Follow the star. Open your heart, come and adore Christ the Lord, Christ the newborn King. Come and adore Christ the Lord, empires give way to whispers of grace. Come and adore Christ the Lord, Christ the newborn King. And adore the one who comes to save, comes to save, comes to save. Adore the one who comes to save, Jesus the Prince of Peace. Come and adore Christ the Lord. See him by faith, the sun sent to rain. Come and adore Christ the Lord, Christ the newborn King. This, this is Christ the King. Whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him, Lord, the babe, the son of Mary. Raise, raise the song on high. The virgin sings her lullaby. Joy, joyful Christ is born. The babe, the son of Mary, the babe, the son of Mary, the Savior, son of Mary. We were strangers far from home, exiles waiting to return. Scattered people all alone, but love came down to bring us close. Love came down to bring us close. Hallelujah, let the bells ring. Hallelujah, Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Every heart sing Hallelujah, Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now's the time for Christmas peace. 
all are welcome at the feast we are family we are one with god the father spirit son in god our home the three in one and hallelujah let the bells ring hallelujah emmanuel hallelujah every heart sing hallelujah emmanuel god with us hallelujah god with us emmanuel god with us hallelujah hallelujah emmanuel Strangers far from home, exiles waiting to return. Scattered people all alone, but love came down to bring us close. Love came down to bring us close. Thank you so much, Brian. It was a beautiful experience being in your home and having a live audience uh, be a part of our Christmas shows. Also in that season, we began a new segment called Song and Story. And so of course, we had to have Brooke Nichols and Steve back, but also we added co-host Joanna LaFleur to share about Christmas as a devotional in scripture and for Brooke and Steve to sing some songs. So we went back, recorded them in our Studio C, and here they are singing Savior of the World and Tell Me the Story of Jesus, their original Christmas songs. Thanks, Mel. A Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas yeah. to everybody. Yeah, Merry Christmas. We're talking about hope, this mm. Advent season, this anticipation of yeah. something great coming. Yeah. Uh, and I know, I mean, for a lot of people, we feel like, oh my goodness, we've been talking about Christmas since October. Like, right. really, <laughs> uh, maybe we're not feeling, we're just like hoping it will end soon. But, but we're talking about hope and why Jesus is our hope. Yeah. yeah. And obviously yeah. for a long time before Jesus came, right. people were hoping They're he would there. arrive. Yeah. 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 And um, so what's the song that we're going to sing about that? Well, the song we chose is one that we wrote called Savior of the World. And uh, I remember when we sat down at our piano to, to write this, we thought, like, what would it have felt like to be in, like, that night mm. that Jesus was born, that he arrived? Like, what do you think the air felt like? And mm. we just felt like there would have been, like, expectation and hope yeah. rising in the air. It was just yeah. this feeling of, like, great expectation. And so... Yeah, that, uh, from that we wrote Savior of the World. And lift up a hallelujah, a king born in a stable, the greatest joy is among us, Savior of the world.
Yeah. So good. I love hey, Christmas so much. I know, me too. And like there's these songs that we sing at Christmas I just want to sing yeah. all the time. You're not allowed though. It's not allowed. <laughs> well, and I know as musicians you probably, I know they're complicated songs, like the traditional ones. So you don't, often, a lot of people say I mean, they, they don't like to be, play yeah. them. They can be, But I think it, it's funny we're talking about hope. Like I, do, I am thinking about that like in the fall I'm thinking, okay, here comes Christmas. I'm going to have to play those songs. But <laughs> sincerely, that's part of the magic of Christmas, right? Yeah. That you, you're, this expectation that it's coming, right? Yeah. That, and, and that's the story of Christmas, right? This yeah. expectation that the Savior is coming, our hope is coming. Like as a kid, you're hoping for this specific present or whatever, like, and, and you're thinking about it, you're anticipating it, and then this present comes and it's better than you could have ever expected or yeah. imagined. Yeah. And I think that's the story of Christmas, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, you know, many centuries before Jesus shows up, the Messiah, the promised one. It says in Isaiah chapter nine, like the people walking in darkness have seen a great light on those living in the land of darkness, mm. a light has dawned. Mm -hmm. And then in verse six, for unto us a child is born, a son is given, the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called the wonderful counselor, yes. mighty God, everlasting father, the prince of peace. And yeah. then it goes on and on. This amazing yeah. hope, right. but, but for a, lo a lot of people uh, then they were waiting, right. it didn't happen yet. And for a lot of people today, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. they don't know it yet. Right. And so we want to use the songs of Christmas to bring the hope of Christ. That's it. Thanks, Mel. Yeah, the story of Jesus is a story of peace. And so the song that we're gonna sing together today is a song called Tell Me the Story of Jesus. And, you know, when I think of the story of Jesus, it's just this beautiful story of peace. I'm reminded mm. that, like, nothing in this world can come uh, to our aid like Jesus. In yeah. the midst of, like, trials and chaos and strife, like, yeah. our peace is only found in Jesus. And so this song uh, is a song that was written in uh, 1880. Mm. Uh, it was an old hymn, uh, and it's, it's one of my favorite songs. Chapter 2, it says that the angels of the Lord show up to these shepherds who are tending their flocks on the night that Jesus is born. And the angel, the lead angel says, don't be afraid. I'm here to announce a great and joyful event that's meant for everybody worldwide. A Savior has been born in David's town, a Savior who's Messiah and Master. This is what you're looking for, a baby wrapped in a blanket. Yeah. lying in a manger. And then at once the angels joined by a huge angelic choir singing God's praises. Glory to God in the heavenly heights. Peace mm. to all men and women on earth who please him. Yeah. Peace so good. on earth. It's good. And that's obviously like what we're talking about today. Mm. Um, in an age of anxiety, in an yeah. age of a lot of stressful things that come in the news, coming co at us constantly, it is hard to find peace, right? Mm. Yeah, I think the truth is, is like we're humans and our, our natural instinct is to grab at things that are close by, Yeah, right? And yeah. it's just as a reminder, yeah. like our peace can only really come from right. one place. Now, I gotta say, Steve, mm. I know uh, enough about you to know that like when a lot of other people are stressed out in a room, or freaking out about something. Actually, you're fairly calm. Right. How do you how do you get to this peaceful place? Thank you for noticing, by the way. I, I take pride in that. No, I, I think like it's helpful to remember that like 
everything in our lives is temporary, right? All the situations, yeah. it's, it's temporary. And even in a meta sense, our lives are temporary, right? Huh. But the peace that God gives us is eternal. It's yeah. like that reminder that we celebrate Christmas every year and generations before us celebrated it every year and they'll continue to celebrate it yeah. after we're gone because the story of Jesus, Jesus' presence in our lives, that's the source of peace that is the same yesterday, today, tomorrow, no matter what's going yeah. on. Yeah, and that's it, right? Like the, the people who heard this angelic choir were not living in a time that was all peaceful. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's why they're proclaiming peace, yeah. making peace in a really difficult circumstance that these people were under oppression mm. of like an outside ruler. Their lives were probably as shepherds lived in maybe some poverty or they just mm -hmm. didn't have a lot going right. for them. Right. And yet like peace is brought to them. Mm -hmm. And then if peace can come to a shepherd, right. then like peace can come to us too. Yeah. That's right. That like the promise of peace in the person of Jesus is for everyone. And so we invite you to embrace Jesus who is our peace right. this Christmas. Back to you, Mel. Well, I hope you enjoyed our first ever special Christmas musical uh, with friends, Brian Dirksen, Brooke and Steve, Joanna, Kimberly, Cheryl, Mark, and Kevin. I hope that this sing-along musical got you into the spirit of Christmas, but also gave you pause to center yourself and be present and to take some time to worship God, to listen to his promises of Christmas. And as we've been celebrating Advent here at See Here Love, hope, peace, joy, and love, that is our prayer for you that you would remain hopeful when you are feeling hopeless, that you would look to the Prince of Peace to become a peacemaker in divisive and hard times, that you would choose joy and fight back with joy through difficult circumstances, and that you would receive love coming into the neighborhood, that Jesus, uh, love has come, and that you would allow him to inform how you live and love within your family, community, and the world. So from all of us from See Her Love, we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. And as always, as we go into the new year and as we celebrate the season, know that you are seen, heard, and deeply loved by God. Merry Christmas! Mm -hmm.